Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you around my ranch in The Ranch of Rivershine, a horse simulation cozy game. Alright, looking... oh, 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 oh! So, it looks like there are wild horses in Lupine Meadow. Uh, we're getting a notification right here. So actually, this is one of the recent updates to the game. Uh, a patch was just pushed out yesterday or today or the day before, um, in which you can uh, tame wild horses, which is pretty neat. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just say hi to my horses that I do have right now. This is Baby Leaf. Uh, if we go ahead and look at his family tree, we'll see that he is the son of Bear Jr. and Ace Duchess, two of my previous horses. Uh, oh wait, I didn't mean to send him to the pasture. Oh no, we're stepping on his poo! Alright, hold on, let's go get him. <laughs> let's go grab, let's go grab him. Oh, hold on, my, my model just, my model just cracked out there for a second. Hm. Oh well. Hello buddy, come on. Let's go back to the barn. Oh, that's not the barn. Here we are. And we gotta actually take care of him now. Alright, so part of the daily chores that you do for your horses every day is mucking out their stall. I'm gonna put straw down to make sure they're cozy, comfy, and clean, and, you know, pick up their poops and stuff. Uh, we're also gonna feed him... we'll feed him some orchard grass today, which gives him 25% satiety. Uh, so he's still a little bit hungry, but we'll take care of that later. Um, I'm not gonna give him a treat yet. We will brush him, though, because he's a little bit dirty. So you get to actually brush your horses on different parts of their body, which is really fun. And it's just kind of like, I don't know, I think it's a nice little daily chore that you get to do for your horses. Um, and you don't have to do it for all of your horses. Um, they actually recently added a retirement pasture, which basically um, allows you to keep horses that you don't have to care for um, in your stable. Did I say, did I call it a barn? I keep calling it a barn, but it's a stable with horses, right? Um, but anyway, um, so... If you don't want to keep them in your stable and keep caring for them every day, because, you know, you'll get a bunch of horses, uh, you can put them in your retirement uh, pasture instead. Uh, they won't be able to do uh, cross-country competitions. They won't be able to do, um, you know, training or whatever. Uh, but you also don't have to care for them like you do your other horses. You don't have to brush them every day and that kind of thing. If you don't want to, you know, if the chores get out of hand. Alright, so... Super Lake is one of my mares. She is pregnant right now. Pre pregnant? Pregnant? If we take her out, we can see she's got that- Oh, hold on. <laughs> she's got that big belly. Very cute, honestly. Um, we could ride her. I don't think we can go very fast with her. I, I, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not gonna stress her out. She's, she's gotta have this baby. Um, she has been pregnant for a few days already, so I'm hoping that she'll give birth soon. Lastly, we have Swift Eagle, who is actually a wild horse that I tamed already. So, we'll be- let's see. We should probably take Baby Leaf out to go taming other horses today, I think. And... Um... We'll give you some Timothy Hay, Swift Eagle. And, um, we already brushed him. We'll muck out his stall, take care of the mess that he made. Um, I'm not gonna give him a treat yet. We'll save that for later. I am gonna go ahead and treat Super Lake, though. Treating your horses makes them trust you more. Oop, carrot. It's also really cute. <laughs> Alright, we're taking Baby Leaf out to go uh, herd some wild horses so that we can uh, bring them home. And train them if we want. So we're headed over to Lupine Meadow right now. We do have to go through the village to get there. It's just over here to the right. And while we're out here... Oh, I'm seeing some orchard grass, which I'm gonna pick up. So you can forage stuff in this game as well. Just like from out in the wild. Stuff to help your horses, like hay, carrots, apples, that kind of thing. Oh, and there's another orchard grass and a carrot over here, speak of the devil. to the meadow. Alright, 
I'm gonna get a quick sip of soda. Mm. I do love me some soda. Now, I believe the wild horses... Oh, do they not appear in the same spot every time? They do not. Aha. Uh -huh. um, the last two times I saw wild horses in Lupine Meadow, they were over there. But basically, the wild horses are all the way over here. We have to herd them into this wild horse pen over here. And we are on the south side of the map currently, so we're gonna head over to the northwestern side where the wild horses are. Do, do, do. And we might be able to forage some stuff on the way. We'll see. We'll see what we see on the way. Right? Oh. You gotta watch your horse's stamina. Um, since we're not training, uh, we're not training Baby Leaf anymore, uh, his stamina won't just, like, like, not permanently go down, but, like, go down. He won't run out of stamina for the day, um, unless he does competitions, I think. But normally when you're training a horse, uh, their stamina for the day will slowly go down as they gain stat points, essentially. So if you're running with, uh, running around with them or, you know, galloping with them, um, that'll train, you know, their speed or their stamina. Uh, and as that happens, they will slowly have less and less remaining stamina for the day. Ooh, I see a really pretty one out there. Already. What is... Oh, that is a pretty pattern. There are several pretty patterns on these wild horses, so... Okay. Let's get a bit closer. Let's get take a closer look, shall we? Okay, here's one. And as we approach, they will start fleeing. And I already know... I want this one. This one right here. This this one right here. Alright, so we're gonna start um, leading it or herding it over toward um, the wild horse pen. You can see we have this little arrow in front of us which is telling us the direction to the wild horse pen which is really helpful. This one's fast. This is a fast wild horse. I'm surprised. I'm not sure- oh the entrance is over to our left I believe. The entrance to the pen. So we'll keep leading them along. And then once we get them in there, we'll have a peek at it. See what its stats are, see if it's male or female. Alrighty, here we go. So it's in the wild horse pen, so it won't run from us anymore. Which is good, because we need to take a peek at it. We'll pet it first. There we go. Its name is Ardent Bolt. Oh, that's neat. Alright. It's a stallion. It's a boy horse. Uh, a black splash coat, apparently. And all of its stats are beginner level. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to take this one home, actually. This one's really cool looking. And once you take a wild horse home, um, the rest of the wild horses, even ones that you've led into the pen, will run away, so you won't be able to, uh, you only can take one home. Uh, per herd of wild horses. Alright, so here we go. And now when we go back home, we'll find what was that ardent bolt? What was it? What was it, what was their name? Um, we'll find him in our stable. Now let me check. Where are we again? We are right over here. So we can just head straight back home if we want, and we can do some cross country competitions and check out our new horse. Maybe do some training because we have two wild horses now. Uh, who are in need of training. Actually, yeah, we're gonna have a full day today. Definitely. Alright. By the way, it is autumn in-game now. This game does have seasons. Uh, you can grow uh, crops on your farm, and different crops will grow in different seasons. It also, obviously, makes the world look very a very pretty shade of red and orange. Um, I'm not sure what other effects the seasons have, other than cosmetic effects and um, affecting what kind of crops you can grow. I know there's got to be other effects, but I can't think of them off the top of my head, or maybe there aren't. Who knows? Alrighty, so we're heading straight home at the moment, and we're going to um, get training a couple of our wild horses. Well, we only have two. So both of our wild horses, we're going to do some training with them today. Alright. Uh, also, I never gave- or wait, we'll give Baby Leaf a treat later. Uh, probably. 
Did we give Super Like a treat already? I think we did. Um, alright, so here's Ardent Bolt, the horse we just found and tamed. Um, we're gonna make sure he's got plenty of food to eat. We'll give him some Timothy hay. Um, we're gonna brush him. I don't think he's gonna need brushing yet, because he just came straight from out of the wild. He's apparently pretty clean out there. Um, put some straw in his pen, and from there... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta give him some, we gotta give him some, uh, food, some training food. Um, I'll start with barley. So you can feed a horse one grain per day, and different grains will boost different stats. So, basically, barley, if we feed them barley for the rest of the day, they'll get improved, uh, gains when training endurance. So to do that, we just have the horse gallop. And you might notice, this guy is much slower than Baby Leaf, uh, which is normal, because, uh, let's see, if we take a look at his stats, actually, uh, he's got full potential, which means we can keep increasing his stats quite a bit, but his endurance is only 15%, which is quite lower than Baby Leaf's. I think Baby Leaf's is at least 30%? Or, or no, I was, <laughs> I was saying he's slower. Endurance doesn't affect speed, necessarily, um... But yeah, but yeah uh, this guy is also slower than Baby Leaf. So horses have several stats. Um, speed, um, endurance, obviously. Then there's also flexibility, which improves their turn speed. And jump, which improves their ability to jump. And I'll show that off in just a moment. We can go ahead into our training arena that we have on our ranch and show it off. Alright, so we'll go ahead and try the beginner flower fence. So basically you get to pick a training course here. There's several different kinds. I think the different kinds just have different cosmetic looks, but I'm not sure. So if we go up to one of these little fences, we can jump over them and that'll train our jump skill. Now, if we try to jump over an obstacle that's too high, um, we might not be able to jump over it at all, or it might just be a little bit like we'll have to take it at a better angle or something like that. So, uh, it depends on how high your jump skill is relative to the difficulty of the jump. So actually, let me show that off. Why not? Why not? Let's show that off too. Uh, so we'll just exit the training arena and the training gear will go away. And we'll enter again with an intermediate, uh, wooden cavaletti course. Alright, so you can see... There's very easy jumps right over here, of course, and we'll go ahead and take those and see these uh, yellow, red, and green markers right there. Hmm. I don't know what you're supposed to do if you're colorblind. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they've got colorblind friendly options in here. But um, anyway, uh, if we go up to this one, we'll see there's just this huge red circle around it. That means we cannot jump it no matter what angle we take it from. Um. But as we improve our jump skill, basically the green area will become a uh, larger- <clears throat> pardon me. Green area will become larger and the red area will become smaller. And that just means we can take the jump from uh, more forgiving- it becomes more forgiving, um, the, the variety of angles from which we can take the jump. Alright, so- oh, one second, I got- Something is on my glasses, and it is annoying me. <laughs> Alright. Um, so one cool thing, if I haven't shown this off already, is actually you can get forage goods at your, uh, your ranch, too. So we got a carrot over here and an apple over here. Um, and I am going to give you- give them a treat. Have we not given this horse a treat yet today? Uh, let's see. Horse information. I'll give them a carrot. All right, and so the treats do increase their energy slightly. It restores a little bit of energy, rather. Uh, which means they're very helpful for training, or if you're going to be doing a lot of racing. They're very helpful. And um, carrots and apples are both treats that you can find just kind of lying around, so they're pretty, pretty economical. <laughs> All right, so we'll put you away, buddy. I keep forgetting his name. What's his name again? Ardent Bolt. That's a hell of a name. Uh, we'll bring Swift Eagle out first. We'll go ahead and give him... Uh, what else do we want to train? Maybe jump? Uh, we have a little bit of wheat, which will train their jump faster. His jump faster. And we'll go ahead to our training arena as well, once again. Doo -doo. Oh yeah, this is a slow horse. 
Go with the beginner flower fence again. And we're just taking jumps at the speed and angle from which our horse can take them, right? Oh, you know, I just noticed that there actually are two different difficulties of flower fence here, I think. Or are there? So it looks like some of these are wider than the others, but I could be wrong. Yeah, like this one, this one isn't as, like, or like longer. Some of them have flowers in them and some of them don't. Or, like, some of them only have flowers on the edges. Like, this one doesn't have plants in the middle. Anyway. I'm trying to figure out if that if that affects the difficulty of the jump, but I don't believe it does. Um, and like I said earlier, as we're training our horse, their energy for the day will go down. So you can only train your horse a limited amount per day, essentially. Um, but I think the amount of stamina that they have, or like the amount of energy they have, is determined by their endurance stat. Um, so I'm guessing it would be helpful to train a horse's endurance as like the first stat that you train, so that they can train more, like for longer, I guess, each day. If that makes sense? I'm not sure. Oh, let's see. Let's give you a treat. Let's give you a treat, Swift Eagle. There you go. Apple time. And we'll finish up our jump training. Oh, dang it. <laughs> In case you were wondering, that's what happens when you miss a jump. All right. We're going to see how much stamina we can use here. I like to not, like, I try not to waste any stamina at the end of the day. Um because I think the dev changed this with this with this uh, recent patch, but I believe it used to be true that the horse's potential, which is basically the, how much it can be trained, how much its stats can be changed, um, I think it would go down at the end of every day. So basically you wanted to finish training your horse as quickly as possible, like in as few days as possible, if that makes sense. I do want to check. I want to check and see if uh, our jump skill is high enough for us to do an intermediate course yet. I'm curious. Alright, let's try intermediate country barrel this time. How about that? Let's see if we can do these. I think we maybe can? Nope, we totally can't. <laughs> oh gosh, alright. Um, well, we can't do that one. How about, how about this one? Oh, we can do that one! And I think the the more difficult jumps train your horse's jump faster. So you want to take... I'm not sure about this, but I think you want to take the hardest jumps that your horse can take. If that makes sense, to train them more effectively. Could be wrong there, but not sure. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, so we've used... Did we treat them already? We did, didn't we? You can't treat them more than once a day. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the stable, and we're actually not done yet. We're actually not done yet. We've still got stuff to do today. Mainly what we're gonna do is make a little bit of money. So we're gonna take Baby Leaf out. Hey Baby Leaf! And we're gonna do a cross-country course before we finish our day. Let's see, do you- what happened to your energy? Why, why is his energy not max? Oh. Huh? That's weird. It says his energy's max, but then the stamina bar isn't at max. Or like energy bar, I guess. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and do the intermediate lupine meadow course. I'm not entirely sure if baby leaf can take first in this race easily or not. Um. The female who's currently pregnant is my best horse at the moment in terms of stats. Alright, let's try it. So these cross-country races honestly are pretty fun. Oh, dang it. <laughs> we already messed up. Um, but they function very well as like ways to check your horse's stats, if that makes sense. Like, um, the higher your horse's stats, the easier it'll be to take first, basically. And you can get money even if you don't place first. But obviously, first place has the highest uh, reward. And um, some story quests require you to place first, but there is also, I believe, a story mode 
uh, difficulty for accessibility. In case you have trouble with the races or cannot um, cannot do them for whatever reason. I think that just makes it so you don't have to place first in the races to progress the story. But I've never used it, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. Whoop. Oh yeah, that was a perfect jump. Alright. I do try to take jumps at a canter and not a gallop. Because uh, galloping through a jump won't make you go any faster. And you'll continue to drain stamina while you're in the air, so... Alright. Let's get over here. Oh! Okay! I, I just lied. I, I, I just went through those at a gallop. Anyway, we did get first place. We get $2,500 in in-game cash. Um, and we also get our daily bonus of $500 for placing first in that particular race. Let's see. We're gonna give Baby Leaf a treat and maybe do one more. Uh, we'll give him an apple. He doesn't really need um, that much energy to beat most races. We'll go for the, uh... Hmm. We'll go for the Beginner Pine Forest. I like the Beginner Pine Forest. Wait, do I? <laughs> I don't remember the races, honestly. They're not races, they're cross-country, but like, you know what I mean. Alright, here we go. And these are the beginner- well, we did the intermediate level race before, but this is a beginner level race that I'm doing now. And your horses won't need stats as high to place first in these races, um, but they also get fewer rewards. As you might expect- oh jeez, that was a jump. I thought that was a tree. <laughs> Alright. This is a jump. I see this one. Sometimes they're hard to see because of the, uh, the scenery. Like, I'm just noticing this now during the fall. Because it's one of the first days of fall now. This is my first in-game fall. So I never realized that, uh, that there was a little bit of a visibility issue for me personally. Alright, so we won that and we also got a daily bonus from placing first in that race for the first time today. We're gonna go ahead and put away Baby Leaf. And we're gonna call it a day! So, before I go, I want to say thank you to all of you guys for watching and for hanging out with me. And, um, I would really like to continue making videos about this game, so let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. I also see a little bit of orchard grass that I'm gonna pick. Can't leave it. <laughs> Can't leave it on the ground. Um, but yeah, I hope I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.